Coach Jensen, first off the day, has uh, kind of cleared up here at San Francisco State. Yep. Is that kind of the ammo here in the summer? Yeah, this is kind of, we get a lot of fog, you know, you go 10 miles in either direction, you're hitting the sun, so, but our best, you know, spring and uh, fall are our best best seasons, so, uh, but this is, you know, bad day, 65 degrees, a little overcast, but, you know, uh, we love it up, up here, so. All right, how many years have you been the head coach here at San Francisco This State? is my 29th year as the head coach. All right, uh, coming off a top 20 finish in the NCAA Division II, how many All-Americans, Coach? Uh, three All-Americans this past season. Uh, an eighth, an eighth, and a fifth. Yep. How many of those guys coming back? We have the uh, fifth coming back. Okay, so you got, you know, he's a multiple-time All-American coming back. So that that's very positive for the program. But how many years have you had, you know, three All-Americans and finishes like that? Oh, about six uh, times we've had at least three All-Americans. And then, you know, 24 of the 28 years I've coached, we've had an All-American. So, I mean, we've had a qualifier every year for, I think, for the last 47 years or something. So... When you see the success you've had here as the head coach, you're, uh, you guys are the only national championship in the history of the school, 97 Division One champions. When you see um, your success getting you know, into almost 30 years of coaching, when you see if you can't do it anymore, coach, have the sustained three All-Americans, two All-Americans, a qualifier, maybe someone in the finals, when you can't do it anymore like that, do you think you'll stick around? I don't think so. I mean, my I'm, I'm so driven, and you know, we're at kind of a grassroots level. Two scholarships, you know, where hands aren't all the time, moving mats, doing all the things we need to do. He says, "I'll know when it's time," but I still have a burning desire here. You know, we only got one national championship. It'd be nice to get another national championship, be in the top four. You know, we've been in the top ten, you know, eight or nine times in that time. So that's my burning desire is the next couple of years is to do that again. And you know, we're recruiting juniors right now. And you know that's you know four or five years away. So we're trying to lay the foundation. I have good assistant coaches. Hopefully one of these days, you know. But when the time comes, the times come. I'm not sticking around and hanging on. So I think I, st I still work out with the guys. I show the technique. We're doing all that kind of stuff, and we still have a burning desire that you know to be successful. So when you look at the unique challenges at San Francisco State, you're the NCAA Division II. You only got two scholarships. A lot of recruits are looking down their nose at you guys. We want D1. When you look at the D1 dwindling, the opportunities dwindling in California, obviously it's a bad thing for wrestling, but it's almost a good thing for San Francisco State. What do you think of that? And, and Division One wrestling disappearing in California? Yeah, it's 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 tough. When I first started coaching, we 1980, we had 29 colleges that had wrestling, and uh, you know, it, it, for our program and everything else, there's really no difference between except for regionals and nationals. That's about the only time we see Division II people, also national duels. Last year we wrestled five Division I schools. And, you know, we beat one of them. We're competitive with most of them. So that's our main intent is we don't look too much at win-loss records and everything else. We want to be uh, wrestle the top competition we can. We go to Vegas and don't have too many guys placed there. We've been to Midlands before, but we're try it's a different philosophy. We want to see the best get competition we can. We just don't stick with Division Two or Division Three competition. We're wrestling Division Ones almost every weekend. Are you over that? That kind of people kind of snubbing you with the division? Oh, you're not Division One. You're not what I want. Are you over that? Yeah, I am. I mean, the first couple, my first three years of coaching, we had a qualifier Division One every year, and then they they beat us on recruiting. We can't do that. Hopefully, that comes back where at least the champions, first or seconds, that go to the to the Division One term. It's a long history uh, of that over the years. But uh, you know, we, we sell them on the school, the school, great education, the city, all the things you can do in the city, and um, you know, the Bay Area is just a great place to come to. How many students go to San Francisco State University? We have 27,000 students here. And roughly, how large is the campus? Campus is about 110 acres. 110 acres, and you're right. How far are we from the Pacific Ocean right now? Uh, we're a mile and a half. From mile the and a half. Pacific. So the kids can, if they're surfers, they can go surf for, and then go catch a class and then be at wrestling practice. That's true. Yep. So you guys got you know the benefit of that. And how far are we from, let's say, uh, I don't know, the Castro District or Noe Valley or anything like we're that? We're a mile or two away from everything. The, the city's only seven square miles. So I mean, we're, Giants game is you know Giants. Stadium, you know, ballpark is only you know three miles away, so we have guys working down there and everything else. So it's a it's a great environment. People work at the 49er games, you know, so they they see it all in San Francisco. If there's one thing you could tell a potential recruit about, you know, San Francisco State University, something they may not know or, or a benefit or something unique to the school, what would it be? 
probably the the biggest thing is it, it's you know we're, we're we're the northernmost school that has wrestling in California. You know, stick stay in the state. Great great education, great alumni base, and you're going to see the the best wrestling in the United States because we go to the best tournaments, wrestle Division One schedule, and uh, you know you're going to get as much out of it as you can. We've had Olympians. Pan American champions, world team placers, all this stuff. You can go as far as you want. I think we have a good program, good coaching staff that, that'll rival you know anyone in the state. And you're you know you're going to get after it academically, socially, and then the most important thing to us is that you're going to have you have a good experience with wrestling. We have a great alumni base, good support in that regard.